Hello oh, yeah. Uh, so I just came home today from work to find this box um, had arrived for me today. You can see here it's got shatterproof content on it and it's also got not fragile on it. So it's a fairly interesting box. What we've got inside is even more interesting. So let's open it up and have a wee look. So in here we can see that we have the Motorola X-Force. Okay, this I'm assuming is not retail packaging. We do have a wee Motorola flash drive here, which we'll come back to later once I see what's on there. But let's actually get in to the sides here and see what we've got. So we've got the phone first and foremost, which I'll come back to. Let's see what else is in the box. On this side, we have what looks to be just the charger pack. And you can see, when I get it out, this has turbo power on it. So this is one of uh, their quick charger chargers, and it is a micro USB charger. What else have we got here? So in here, we have a little pin. That will be to get the SIM card and the nano SIM out. Sorry, nano SIM card and micro SD card. And I don't believe we've got anything else in the box. So we'll close that off, move it to one side. Because what we really want to see is the phone. So I've got a reasonably large size phone here. Um, very Motorola-esque in the design. Got the Motorola badge on the back there. A LED flash, which is a dual LED flash and a 21 megapixel rear facing camera. Up the top, got our headphone jack and our SIM tray. I'm assuming that's also a combo micro SD card slot. And our charger on the bottom, which as I've already attested to, is a micro USB charger. Underneath here, we have what really makes this phone special. This is a unbreakable screen by all accounts. We've also got a front facing camera which I believe is 5 megapixels, I'll need to double check that and we've also got a front facing flash. Got a speaker up the top there and I believe these are also speaker grills at the bottom although they may just be microphones. On the side um, volume up and down rocker and power key. Power key, don't know if you can make that out but it has got a bit of texture on it um, very unassuming design. Um, on the back, got a textured finish. Again, very like Motorola standard format. The charger, as I said, is the only other thing that came, came in the box, apart from the little SIM pin. And just to give you a comparison on sizing, this is it next to my Xperia Z5, which is a 5.2 inch device. As you can see there, very, very similar sort of size. Motorola is slightly wider. The Z5 does have a case on it at the moment, uh, so pretty good. I'm just gonna make sure there's nothing else in the box that I've missed. I don't believe there is. No, I believe that's all in the box. So we'll just get this phone booted up. Now it is, um, I've not booted this phone up yet, so this is the first boot. Very, very bright screen there with the Motorola logo. Um, running, I believe, Android 5.12 out of the box. Um, and. Uh, um, as far as I'm aware, there is going to be an update to Android 6 Marshmallow. And I'm just going to pause the video there while I do a quick setup. So I've just popped in my Wi-Fi password. And we will, assuming that's going to work. I, I am quite a distance away from my Wi-Fi, so it may not work at the moment. Uh, so we'll skip that for now. 
and just a bit about their privacy uh, date and time we'll skip that for now and also the details about that I'm going to skip uh, protecting my phone as well just so we can uh, get the initial setup out of the way there we go so you can see there Motorola X-Force now we do have a gorgeous AMOLED display I believe that does measure 5.2 inches very very similar to the Sony Xperia Z5 um, let's just have a little look at the settings to see what version of Android on as I said I'm pretty sure yeah 5.11 okay so that is a very very quick and dirty unboxing of the Motorola X-Force I look forward to testing this phone particularly this screen because I have heard some reports that the screen can scratch because it is made of various plastic laminates um, but the UI looks very very clean very Google-esque in the way that it works very limited uh, actual Motorola customization I believe Connect is really the only custom app and also this Moto app here which probably won't work because I don't have Wi-Fi connection um, yep yeah, so it supports um, the details about uh, various customizations so you can get it to notify your texts uh, it's got glance on it because it is an AMOLED panel um, it will listen to a phrase for a phrase to actually open and you've got quick launch on the camera as well by twisting um, so I'm not going to be able to set that all up at the moment uh, as I said I don't have the uh, details but you can see here um, various different setups that I can do so these are all the phrases that you can actually set up for it um, I'm looking forward to actually testing this phone putting it through the ringer seeing what I can actually make um, make it do and see how it responds to some damage really so as you can see there that is slightly different sounding from my Z5 um, and the screen is really quite clever you can see the distance the thickness of the actual screen on these speakers you may not be able to see this in the camera because of the reflection but there is quite a difference in the screen depth there um, let's just have a little look at the camera before we pack things up so just quick launch and you can see we've got the gallery view just from swiping into the side okay that was Google now and then you've got the settings just from swiping in there and they've gone with this ring style format which is quite a nice uh, way of actually interacting with it and we've got SD card support out of the box as well so let's just take a quick photo there There we go, that's just a quick shot, and uh, not too shabby to be honest, but we could probably get a little bit better out of that. So there you have it, a very very quick overview of the Motorola X-Force, and uh, keep it glued to coolsmartphone.com for um, some more opinions and uh, a full in-depth review of how tough this phone actually is. If you like this video, please uh, consider subscribing for more content from CoolSmartphone.com and also um, put a wee like down the bottom and if you don't like it, I'll put a wee dislike. Also, any questions or comments, please feel free, free to throw them in below and I will strive to answer them as best as possible. Thanks very much and we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers. Bye.